I had to do it. I really had to do it. I'm so sorry, but I really had to do it. I can't learn all the languages in the world. My list was already 100 languages, and 100 is, it is too much. Counting on my native Portuguese, nearly Spanish, and advanced English, but it was too much. So now I'm gonna take my list into. I'm gonna load it into 70, 65, or 70 languages, and that is already a lot. Quite a lot. So, uh, why did I delete it? Did I did it? Because I want to be a good polyglot. I don't want. I don't want just to be another one dabbling in languages and something like that. So, which languages did I drop? Quite a lot. Kurdish. Well, uh, it's hard to find uh, people learning Kurdish. Uh, so I decided that this language, uh, that language, should go off my list. Should go off my list just like that. Faroese. Well. Uh, I want to learn Icelandic, so if I learn Faroese, I prefer to spend that time on Icelandic in order to reach an intermediate level in Icelandic. If I uh, spend that time studying Faroese too, it will be harder. So I believe it was a good choice. Uh, I want to learn Irish, so I dropped the uh, Scottish Gaelic, they're similar. I believe there are much more people studying Irish and speaking Irish. I dropped Welsh as well. Uh, people say that uh, in, in Wales people uh, uh, speak much more uh, way, uh, Welsh than in Ireland, for instance, but I can't, uh, I can't learn everything, so I had to make my, ma make my mind, so I decided to study Irish. Uh, let's see what else. Um, Malagasy. I dropped Malagasy. I dropped Malagasy too. Uh, I'm in very a lot, quite a lot into African languages, but I had to drop Malagasy because um, I don't know exactly why. Uh, I want to learn several African languages. My favorite fa African languages are uh, Wolof, Swahili, and Yoruba. So I had to drop this one. And let's see what else. Um, I dropped some strange African languages too. Uh, I dropped Bengali. I prefer to be fluent in Hindi. So I dropped Bengali and I dropped Hurdu as well. Uh, many people might criticize me, but I believe that it was for the best. It was for the best. And um, I'm still thinking about some other languages in here. Uh, so, um, oh yeah, I dropped, uh, I want to learn some Polynesian languages too. So, uh, I chose Hawaiian, it's not that it's the most uh, widely spoken, I don't know if it is or not, but the thing is, there are a lot of people studying Hawaiian all around the world, so I dropped Samoan and I dropped Haitian too. And I'm thinking about dropping Cantonese because I want to learn advanced uh, Mandarin. And when I say advanced Mandarin, Mandarin, I really mean it. Uh, and so that's why I'm thinking about dropping this language as well. Uh, on the other hand, I won't drop Cambodian, nor Burmese, nor Tibetan because I believe uh, there are languages worth knowing. And I won't drop Hausa, Tui, Chi, I don't know how to pronounce this. I won't drop those languages for the same reason. I believe there are languages worth knowing. Uh, another language that I might drop is uh, Lithuanian. I guess it's better to study Latvian and like an, a good intermediate level in Latvian than trying to get them both and then be being bad at both. So I believe I will um, I will skip this one, Lithuanian. Now what else? Uh, I don't know exactly. I'm still thinking about it. Mongolian. I believe it's worth studying Mongolian. Cherokee. I don't know, but it might be interesting. Just like studying Maori, for instance. Just to get an idea, low intermediate level, uh, those languages are completely different from other languages that we used to. So I believe those ones, I will give them a try. I will give them a shot, yeah. 
Then Haitian Creole, I believe, I will give it a shot too. And um, it's pretty much like it. I dropped Creole already. And let's see what else. Oh yes, there is another. There is another doubt in here, which is Greenlandic Inuktitut. I bought the first DVD for Greenlandic and it really kind of sucks. I haven't used it really uh, that much, but it ain't worth the, the motherfucking 60 euros it's worth. And it was my birthday present. So I don't know exactly what should I do. Should I buy the other one and be that stupid and learn Greenlandic or should I use the, the website and learn Inuktitut? Uh, I don't know. Both of them, I don't know exactly. And then I have this other problem too, Indonesian Malay. Uh, I, I believe it's uh, it's better to study Indonesian. There are a lot of people learning Indonesian, studying Indonesian, speaking Indonesian. But I don't know if, uh, if I should uh, learn them both. And then uh, it's pretty much like it, I believe. Um, I believe it's pretty much like it, yeah. It might come one or other change more, but I believe it's pretty much like it. Now, uh, I only want to say that people might think, oh, yes, yeah, so we're dropping languages. Yes, I'm dropping languages because I want to be a good polyglot. Uh, I don't want to be Professor Arguelles. I want to be better. I want to be, I don't want to be, of course, I don't want to be the wannabes like, um, like uh, Lou, that guy, the Irish polyglot, Benny the Irish polyglot, Benny Lewis, that guy really kind of sucks, but he makes a good living, I don't know why, anyways, I want to be a good polyglot, that's why I decided to drop some languages, take it again.